is <laughs> the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Dog fighting yeah. on cruise ships. And I really don't understand because I feel like that was supposed to make me feel stupid and I felt smarter. <laughs> I feel like that was supposed to be like his nail in the coffin, and I was supposed to feel like a complete idiot. But I was like, "Oh, so I'm you're just telling me I'm right, and you don't have an argument." Okay, it's like hot water heaters in the veterinarian's office. You know? <laughs> it's like melting ice cream on the hospital floor. It's like, what? what the fuck are you talking about? What are you? What are you? It's like cockroaches Hello? that wear hats. <laughs> <laughs> We're, comment, we're talking about what size TV. <laughs> it's 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 gym bags with red handles. Tommy, it's submarines in the clouds. <laughs> it's submarines in the clouds. Yeah, I'm, I'm the moron. <laughs> hey, we're talking spaceships and jellyfish here. <laughs> <laughs> Rock'em Sock'em Robots and Strip Club. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home Horseshoes and belt buckles Just let me out Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Memory Stream <laughs> hey, what's up, fuckheads? The most loyal, loyal fuckheads. I hope you enjoy this. If for some reason you're not here, I'll post it in. Uh, if you're a Patreon, there you go. Not to go back what we were talking about earlier, but he willing, he willingly, like he voluntarily took the word nerd into his, into his brand, and he's a fucking idiot. I wouldn't say he's an idiot. Here's what I would say about Nerd City. All right. And keep in mind. Uh, there is, okay. I'm talking I, about. I, no, he's not an idiot. Look, he, he, look, he's not an idiot. No, no, no. But there's something. I, I do think there's something. There is some kind of block there or something like that. And and also, I, I think he's. He kind of thinks that the world's out there. When any kind of controversy comes in or any kind of criticism, he thinks. It's not just criticism. And I'm not talking about trying to avoid it or give you like some kind of red herring like Face Banks would do. I think it doesn't he, I, compute. It doesn't compute and he thinks there's somebody trying to fuck with him. Like somebody's really trying to hurt him. Because that's the yeah. thing that, that got me to forgive him. Because I get a message months after this thing happens, and he says, You know, you're a real fucking asshole. Um you know, I never did this, and I, I cared about you, and blah, 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 and, and you know, I'm not going to go into the details. Yeah. Well, if he was trying to give me a red herring, he was trying to make me look bad um, deliberately, what are the odds of him giving a fiddler's fuck about how I felt, and why would it pop in his head at 2 o'clock in the morning his time? You know, so I realized he really doesn't get it. He's not just playing an avoidance game so in that sense it so i don't think he's stupid but no i was i was more referring to that specific specific circumstance yeah. where it was just like what are we doing what are you doing what are you doing well <laughs> tommy it's dogs fighting on cruise ships yeah no <laughs> well now that we, now that we got that explained like, right? i'll tell you something i was like when he called that one time me and nick went to call him we were yeah, I was I was more I was more angry than Nick. And um he um I, I I guess he had gotten to the point, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was, you know, you're just doing this because, or you just did this because. Um and whatever it was, it would make Nick the most evil motherfucker on the planet. Now Nick's a lot of things. He's obnoxious. 
but he has a big heart and he wouldn't do that. And he just says to him, like, he didn't even get like all Nick or wig out about it. He goes, I can't believe you think that about me or ever have. And then I started thinking, like, you know, he's always telling me how great the show was. If you felt that way about me and Nick and Verst and that, that we're just trying this, why would you ever talk to me? Why would you ever donate? Why would you give me a dime? Was it okay as long as I wasn't doing it to you? The way he viewed us was kind of the way John Swan was going at it when we had our thing last time. But John Swan woke up, you know. I, 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 I don't even know how to put it, you know. But in fairness, I think uh, I was going to make a Nick fat joke, but it's kind of old. I'll, I'll, just, <laughs> I'll just skip it. We'll just let it slide. I was going to say, relative to his entire body, his heart really isn't that large. It's more just equal size, but <laughs> but yeah. Nick, no, Nick's a sweet dude. At the end, at the end of the day, like he, no, he, he forgives people that I, I literally could I would not, never I forgive them. Like exactly, like I know a lot of, I know a lot of people don't really have a lot of ties to it or didn't really look that deep into it. They kind of just saw like the, like the, the surface yeah. of it, the whole like Sky Williams and shit and all the shit that he did. But mm -hmm. I, I don't think there's any way I could ever forgive that dude for all the shit he's done over like a, what was like a decade time, time yeah, or her. whatever, however long it was. But you know. Like I said, Nick's a lot yeah, more forgiving than I am, but that's kind of obvious. Sky Williams, he really never did the things that he was accused. I don't buy the grooming and all that other horse shit. No, no. It but was he was a pretty shitty shit guy. Had... He really treated those people like shit. Like he was some kind of gangster, yeah. you know? Yeah, what he did was really, really yeah. shitty, to say the least. Uh, oh, there, I did have a question for you guys, since I normally miss out on these things, but now mm. that I'm working late at night, I can be around more. Mm. Uh I had this idea of having a a channel in the Discord where you guys would be muted, but Tommy would have his screen shared like it is now. So you'd basically be getting a lagless experience, and then we could take calls, quote unquote, and we could unmute you and do it that way. But you'd basically have a stream live one on one with us, and lagless completely. I don't know if that's you guys could come in the stream on Discord. And it would be yeah, absolutely we have, like, we'd have the, member, the members only room, and it'd be like basically what Bald is now, like you know, adding I, nothing, but he's muted, mm, and you I, guys get the lagless experience. Like that's the only reason he's oh. here; he doesn't have a five second delay. He gets yeah. a zero second delay. This is, um, but, we're, but we, we've got it down to like three, two, three seconds now. I oh, know. I'm yeah. just, I'm just giving yeah, yeah. shit because he lives. It's, in it's totally middle. feasible. We can make it happen. We probably can make it happen. Oh, totally. Sure. It'd be easy. But so it'd basically be like, <laughs> I hate to put it. It'd be like a classroom almost, where it's like. You get a lagless streaming like stream experience, and then we could take mm. calls or whatever, like mm. right uh, there do it that now. way. That's uh, right. But you guys can pretty movies, much we could all do it together. Movies sound fun, like I don't know, unsolved mysteries for me. Would be oh, that too. Fun. We could watch yeah. stuff too together. But it's like, but it more or less, like mm. you're getting a more of a connected experience. Like mm. already low latency is pretty good. Yeah. But it would be it it would be like. Yeah. Just I don't more of a connection thing. I don't know, but it it'd be good. Gonna, you can do no, a lot it's, of stuff it's something like that. To, it's something to think about. I'm gonna yeah. settle our podcast first. I had a, oh for sure we need to, we I had to settle a, on that. I think we're getting somewhere. I, I I've done a lot of work. I've really worked hard this week, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, the um, the, the, I'm think I. You guys tell me if you like this. Like obviously this is a very it was a 23 year. Was it? No, it's 22. 22, 22 year. Yeah, 22 because I was born in 76. There's a 22 year age gap between Verse and I, and. Um, I I think that's cool because I think it's in perspective we have similar interests and similar views on people. <laughs> you just express it more, and but and but you have a completely different. You experience in the United States post nine eleven. I can never have done that. You know, right? Um, For instance, and, like and I think Margaret Ralph wasn't necessarily a movie that people needed to see, but you, however, <laughs> think it uh, defines whether you're a gamer oh, or not, which makes it. no sense yes. to me because it was you're marketed not a gamer. Like eight year olds. <laughs> not like it was marketed. Ralph. Shut up! Shut up! No, no, I'm not done. It was oh. marketed to like eight year olds, and I don't understand nice. why you think my demographic would have been like, oh hell yeah, Rick and Ralph, let's go. No, hell I, think yeah, were, I think you were an uptight teenager. I'm, I'm, I'm Call of Duty. I don't go see that. Fuck, I don't care. Yeah, like I said, I, 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 let me look. Let me look at the year it came out. I can tell you exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really like that uh, vault, don't you? Oh, I love that sound so much. Nick the Sonic. Hates it. Oh God. No. Go 2012. fuck. Wilbur. 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 I want you to take that Optimus Prime toy and 
Stick it up your ass. That, that, I saw fucking oh, Sonic. Yeah, what, are you, what are you talking about? The the best Call of Duty almost no, known to man was uh, released in 2012. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Oh, so you don't Why get two hours? You, two hours? you don't have two hours? You don't have two hours to go see wreck Ralph? Give it a chance. No, Try it Tommy, I was in high school. I was playing that shit like 16 hours a day. No, I don't have time to go watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a gamer, Tommy. Come on. wreck Ralph is, is a masterpiece, and I think it appeals to all ages if, if it is. I imagine if you're a real ornery, uptight, I hate the world teenager, you might be that way. But, you know, if, if, if you're not, you know, insecure, you probably could really enjoy the film. <laughs> Tommy, you got to realize, I know it's going to hurt you when I say this. I yes. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I was 12, but I was actually 14. I guess 14. it's not that bad. Oh, so you were. Never mind. 2012. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Borderlands 2 yeah. was the best game in 2012. Yeah, it's a Borderlands 2 too. Like there were so many there's sucks. so many other things in 2012 that I'd rather be doing no, than watching like, Wreck It, I... Fuck It and Ralph. Are you what the fuck? Right. Well, you, those fucking Pixar movies, although it's not always true. The idea is to entertain the parents and the kids. Pretty much and everybody. I wasn't an eight year old kid or a parent. So like what do you Well, there's you... also some in between there. So you're like I wait a minute, I saw a Toy Story when I was in high school. I took my girlfriend to go see it. We laughed our ass off. In that family way, not in like good hearty George Carlin laugh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laughing real hearty at Wreck It Ralph. Holy, we had so I much fun. Wreck it Ralph. Movie. All right, let me let me just tell you what was going on in 2012. Dishonored, <laughs> Borderlands 2, Far Cry 3, Mass Effect 3, Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed 3, The Dead, well, The Walking Dead, not that impressive. Diablo 3, it. Halo 4. Ooh, you don't like The Walking Dark Dead either. Three. What do you, you like? The uh, Walking Dead at its absolute peak. Neat. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Best Need for Speed game, by the way. Needs to be re-released, uh, port forwarded. It's so fucking good. Fuck you. <laughs> I was like 10 when that movie came out, uh, Rugged Ralph. Mm. Did what you else? like it? Prototype 2. Pro yeah, probably watched it. Yeah, so you're a right. retard. You probably liked it because I did cartoons. <laughs> 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 I liked it for both reasons. Like, I like the cartoons. I like the idea. I like the references to the 80s. I like... I don't know, just the way they did the arcade. I, hate, I hated it. Well, he was like ten. He was like I ten in the middle it. weeks. His parents can give him a shovel. You and hated it. I don't know. Oh fuck you! you <laughs> I hated it because How could because, you hate because you call me retarded. Because you're retarded. Oh, well, there you no, go. No, because because you call me retarded. I hate it. <laughs> Worst movie <laughs> ever. <laughs> anyway, tangent, tangent aside, we we're, we're nailing down the podcast name, and uh, he, he wants to get your opinion on it because I, I, I want to age gap between us. All right, I like right, you can leave raging snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just want the idea is to get somebody to draw a cartoon snowflake in in anti fuck gear. Good luck with that, by the way. I'm not an artist, you know. But I, you I just think to do it. Uh, no, because he costs too much. Um, <laughs> and I need it. I need the <laughs> thumbnail him. Well, maybe for the character, maybe possibly. He costs a lot of money, and I need it. I don't need it in a month. I need it like a week or two after I see it say it you know at the most um record oh, was fantastic just, and, and just to continue on that too to make you guys more angry i never saw the uh what what's the movie with the purple dude with the superheroes thanos oh. i never saw that movie never oh, saw any oh god we, all right oh, i never seen the theme here i don't you fuck yourself come those. on thanks now, thanks. now you got Bolt, bolts back in my camp thanks there you, you go fucking <laughs> maniac <laughs> you know that's bolts back in my camp thanks vault you weren't that what loyal, kind of, but what, 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 kind of, what kind of like homosexual would yeah, not I mean, watch yeah, anything? Like, the, you know, I didn't go with the MC when I saw Infinity War. I was like, "Holy shit!" And I took like my most hardened friend, the most anti Hollywood friend. I was like, "Look, I know Endgame's coming out. You're probably not going to watch it. You probably don't watch Endgame. Oh, they all suck. Watch Infinity War. Just do that." He's like, "I'll watch Infinity War." And he came back. And he said, "You know what? It wasn't the best movie I ever saw, but it's just the." Um, the logistics alone to pull something that like that off over like 11 12 year period is impressive by itself to make a yeah. a really good story and that's before end game it's before he saw end game which i don't think he liked as much and i don't think i liked it as much either um first of all i hadn't read the gemstone fucking thing in marvel i honestly didn't expect uh then I, I thought that was the at last one and i and probably better cuz my ignorance i i did not know thanos was going to win this motherfucker you know, and that way it was like, oh, shit. It's like fucking, 
Empire Strikes Back. Oh shit! Like, dude, they didn't really come out on top on this one. Whoa! Oh, that's true. I I yeah. thought they turned it. Remember, I thought I I thought they turned it around this the whole time, except for like what last sometime this week or last week. You oh, said they lost. Oh, that's she lying. A no, big big seriously. I, I, know he, I know he killed it's people, but I thought they like. Two years ago. Ah, oh, it's 2018. But I thought I thought they I thought they did the thing where they like they managed to bring him back with like. Yeah, the, that you was know, the, the no, but that was the whole. Endgame movie to bring him back, and it was a lot more complicated than just flipping a switch. Well, yeah, by yeah, movie standards, mm -hmm. yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You're making the story up, but um, no, they didn't flip shit. That whole scene, you really didn't know? Uh, are you busting my nuts? I, so I, I'll, I'll tell you what. No, no, I'll tell you what yeah. I thought. So I thought they managed to turn it around, but uh -uh. then completely erase Thanos. Just, just kind of like took his nuts off. No, and then in Endgame, he came back like World it War II looked style. Like that's what was they feigned that. And then what happens is they got the final blow and uh, he gets the last stone. And right after he gets the last stone, Thor comes out and fucking just, was he, he hits him with an axe. And he's, yeah, 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 and, yeah. and Thanos is like mortally wounded, right? And he just looks at him and he says, always go for the head. And then he snaps his fingers and everybody head. disappears. Yeah. And he snaps his fingers. And he, like, what the fuck was he thinking? Of course you go for the head. You know, mm -hmm. but he, I, I don't know. It's fucking fog of war. It's battle. It just, it, it put it on. Even though it's superheroes, it, it put it sort of like really on a human level. Wait, that so movie. You're saying a god of war. Yeah. With an infinite. Strength yeah, but he was really, really, really under attack. True. He's yeah, not yeah, a god like. And, 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 and a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah but god. you're you're thinking oh, about a god in like some like a Judeo Christian type. Uh, the gods weren't exactly in. Uh, a mortal or invulnerable in Norse uh, mythology, from what I understand. It's anything with the Greeks. No, no, they no. I'm, I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm just saying, like, a, a god of war, I would assume he would have aimed for the throat. Oh, well, he kind of did. Yeah. yeah. Is that where he hit him? He hit him near the throat. Yeah, like, like or chest. It was like right, chest, right, right under like, throat, from, like, yeah. from, like, his collarbone, like, straight down into his chest. Yeah. But he, he, and, he was, and he was fucked up, so all he did was snap, and that was it, man. They're fucked. <laughs> It's pretty funny. And, and like in, in the second Thor, one. Wait, hold on. Thor did the boogie move and shot to wound. Yes. <laughs> I don't. It wasn't so much he shot the wound. It was like he saw an opportunity. It then was Thor, really you tough. have thirty seconds. I'm going he, to he, fire a warning shot. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. It was like, oh shit, I could take <laughs> him out it. right now with a slice. Kill me. <laughs> There's also Kill me. there was also no way for Thor to know that he had captured the last stone in that second. So it kind of it was like a it's kind of a, like a real scenario, you know. Yeah. In that sense, like was it was it just that? It was like, like, like a, a bunch of things thought, why, why had to see him die. A bunch of things had to happen for that scenario to envelop. So it really wasn't his fault. There was no way for a note. He saw an opportunity. I guess he was stunned, or this is a place where you could take him out. And uh, he just, it was more like, oh shit, shit, swing now. Yeah. 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 <coughs> What's up? I can't do. It. I'm working now, buddy. Well, keep I playing. Like I like what? this. I like this better that Thanos was just Frank Hassel in disguise. Need help? <laughs> oh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll give him help. I, it's, I, I like that much better. It's that Frank I want. Hassel. Can someone? Frank can someone? Hassel. This video has got to be ripped on the internet by now. Can you edit this where where it's it's Thor firing a warning shot? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. He didn't Thanos fire a warning. No, I'm not, I'm not explaining it right. I'm not explaining it right. Then. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go help Tommy. We only shut off the switch. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. I think that would be hilarious. I'm willing I to mean, pay someone to do it. If anyone's going to do it, I would more than likely pay you. That that would be hysterical, comrade. If you're watching, like that fucking Bro. maniacal laugh he does. He's like, <laughs> he's like he's fucking joke. Kill around. me. <laughs> what? what you fucking joke. It's fucking joke. Uh, joker mm -hmm. laugh. Yeah. And I know this would be a lot harder to do too, but the Frank teeter, like the autistic teeter, he does. If you can make mm. if you can make Thanos do that, that would really be the icing on the cake. But I understand that's probably hard. Uh, but I think <laughs> I do want to see it. I have this image in my head, and I don't think it, who, what whoever makes it, maybe maybe except for Comrade, I don't think it's ever going to be as good as I'm wanting it to be in my head. But I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah. <sighs> what were you doing before this? You know me? Yeah. No, the other fucking person. Yeah, of course you. I was like fucking, I was fucking like up in my mouth or something. That's, I came in late, sorry about that. 
No, no, yeah, I was just wondering what you were doing. That's all. Just chilling. That's all. Diablo three was embarrassing. I never got into the. Uh, it was too grindy for me. It wasn't. It wasn't interesting enough. Yeah. It looked too like, not robotic. I don't know what the word like. You just grind like AFK grind. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Tommy's uh, <laughs> doing a pretty good job unlocking all my characters in in Smash. And what have you. Yeah, he has a sweatshop operating in the living room unlocking <laughs> yeah, all too. the characters for Smash Ultimate. So eventually yeah. when we do stream this later on tonight, yeah. you'll have yeah, all the characters. Have. Oh, he's not going to bed or eating, you know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Every character he, he breaks, unlocks. Breaks are for people fight. 18 and up. You you work until you say you're done. We had a great game. <laughs> until I'm you sure. have all 72 characters. Yeah. Keep going, buddy. I am feeling Tommy, so Tommy, inject good. some G Fuel. Yes. Well, me, no, not the, not the good stuff. Well, not... <laughs> no, no, he, he jacks him with the uh, yes, cheap stuff, the uh, grape one. They go. <laughs> mm. Let's go. Don't let your father down. I'm feeling so Did good about fucking YouTube. If you guys notice, I'm not talking about the Hunter, Hunter Biden thing. I'm not going to talk about it until the show tonight because it's the topic of the show, and I got a lot to say about that. Um, this is more, I guess, personal stuff. Um, uh, I am feeling so good about the content we're producing, the podcast. Even when I was just like, kind of, this sucks. I mean, I can't seem to get things rolling again. The the podcasts have been very good for the most part. There was, I don't think there was, there was no bombs. There was a few, eh, but I think most of them are really solid. And I'm feeling so good, especially with the news. And then Cat comes out and she basically gets us um, a pretty good story, and then. You know, YouTube does that, and we'll talk about that later. But I'm feeling, even though, like, you know, we have a, a, a semi-strike on, on the other channel, I'm super happy about the way things are going. You know, I I am willing. That is also an option. You can animate it instead of edit it together. That would be <laughs> also great. What? I, I'm, I'm very open. Motion. Uh, what? I don't, the, oh, the podcast? Thanos as Frank Hassel and uh, <laughs> Boogie <laughs> as Thor. Pippin Pete would probably could do that. I bet he could do it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I like raging snowflakes. Did, did, did you put a one in the chat? It's got to be something generational. I, I think that's. Sorry to interrupt you. Like go off. I, I I'm in the loss of fucking words. Yeah. That's, that's what the, the podcast is gonna be like. That's just the there. Name. That's what the podcast <laughs> is gonna be like. Just. Uh, 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 See uh, now, I think if we, I I thought this, and I was yeah. more just joking, but catch twenty two. Fuck it's funny to me because not only it's a play on Catch 33, yeah. but we have a 22 year age gap. And, <laughs> but the only issue I can see with it is, is one, it's, it's, it's All not right. that good of a name. It's funny to me. It's but also, we how about be able to get How about this? How about would, this? If we, I will go with Catch 22 right now, okay? If okay. we call it Shop from the Points, Catch 22. So it's got like, so I, I ripped the clown That's... out of it. Yes. No. No, you can't be no. always referred to it as it did, but it, in a title, I wanted to say, you know, SFTP's nope. Shot 22. Why not? Nope. I like nope. Raging Snowflakes. <laughs> Too I, like, I like No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. It's always going to be referred to as check, Catch 22. But if there's any kind of, like, uh, merch that develops from it, no, or no. If my if my talent brings you views, I don't want it to bleed over well, and cross me your if other channel. Blow up, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally being it. sarcastic. Yeah, I'm 100 percent being sarcastic. Pay, I'm probably going to another channel, you know, or something like that. Yeah, Shot from the Point presents yes, our brand yes, new podcast. Yes, Labor yes. Catch SFTP a, presents a continuation of Catch Thirty Three, Episode One. I, I, SFTP presents. We got a really good idea. So like, now, first, the only the only problem I see with this is I don't think Vega would do any. <laughs> He wouldn't do any oh, visuals. He's not going to. <laughs> he's not. I'm, have I ever talked about this? This is not Vegas' fault. I think I've talked about this before. The, the moment Catch 33's fate was sealed, and you can ask Dave because I said it at that moment, okay? And the reason I was ignored is because I didn't know anything about Premiere and editing and all this other horse shit. I said, I'm like, look, I said, Dave, this drama stuff is time sensitive. And this is what I'd learned from Baden. If. Um, and, and I, I said this to Vega as well. Can you do this in this amount of time? And the problem was I knew Vega would say, and not lying, just because his military fucking personality, it'll be done in 24 hours after the podcast release. Well, there's two fucking problems there. 
Um, I knew Clown was going to insist on editing and not giving it to me. All right. Uh, so that was going to take a week. And on top of that, changing his mind. And the third thing, he might have meant that in his heart of hearts, but it was never going to happen. Never. I had the, the I had everything interview. I had to beg him to dumb, dumb beg them to dumb it down. And I, I just, I knew, I said to Dave, I, I go, do you realize the death seed has been planted for this podcast and we haven't done an episode? You realize, but Dave, was, in, in fairness to Dave, it was, um, in, fa in, in fairness to Dave, he didn't know because, you know, he was going from level one, th 2,000 subs, 3,000 subs, whatever he had, to, you know, coming off the baited podcast, Catch-22, a competitor to baited. Which was what we marketed as. The problem is fucking clowns not that competitive, you know. And I think those podcasts are damn good, you know. But what I really want to do uh, is I want to give you something. I promise this podcast is not going to be another stream. It's not going to be a game stream. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. It's a minimum. We've already committed to minimum forty minute, uh, forty five minutes, and. Uh, uh, the only thing is I won't commit to is a release time, and it'll be on the other channel. Uh, that That's the only thing I, I absolutely will not commit, because we're trying to, it's kind of like baited. We're trying to pack it. We're not trying to milk it, right? I can, you know, I, 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 I have a schedule. I have to do, you know, four podcasts a week, plus news. And this might not be drama. I, I, I You know, I'm thinking the drama and video games are going to be a side note. That's the way I think this is going to be. But I think it's going to be Fucking funny, in a different kind of funny. Maybe a more mainstream type of funny, if you know I'm, what I mean. I'm more concerned. Well, yeah. I guess I'll, actually, I don't want to spoil it. I'll save yeah. it. But I, I think finally the truth will come out about Stephen Hawking, and I think we might. <laughs> the world. The, I don't know if the, the world's ready, but I'm. Right. I'm ready. I'm really tired of all this credit he gets, and yes. I'm. I'm ready to put it. We have been there. watching uh, other people's podcasts, and we plan to steal their best parts. And I promise you, this one will be funny. <laughs> It's going to be like Joe Rogan. Well, it's funny. We were watching a, a lot of stuff. We, 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 look, we weren't stealing bits. We're getting inspiration. And we're get, we checked PKA and uh, Comtown. And a lot, a lot of looked at a lot of the, I've been looking at the way they did, did things. And, you know, the PK is, you know, that's a, a legendary internet YouTube podcast. And this guy, what's his name? Randy? Um, oh, Taylor. Yeah. Taylor. Yeah. And he comes out and he says, that I guess they're supposed to introduce their wild conspiracy theory and they're going to argue for it and argue against it yeah Fucking... so they were they were all supposed to find wild conspiracy theories yes. and then make a presentation based yeah. off that to prove their theory yes that's like a joke okay it sounds like a joke, but, but it's kind of like big deal you know had woody there anthony kumia of opie and anthony shock talk legend uh dick masterson who's one of the fucking most talented funny guys on on the internet for sure uh taylor what was his name taylor i, I don't know it's not listen yeah yeah, Taylor, oh, yeah. Woody, and uh, the guy that didn't kill his um, uh, his business partner. What the fuck's it? Kyle. That's it. Kyle. Um, yeah. So they're in there, and he Taylor comes out, and he says, "Honestly, I've always kind of wondered this myself. <laughs> the Helen Keller story is horseshit. She was a retard. She never did anything. She never signed. She never spoke. They probably just kind of fucking calmed her down. <laughs> and the the miracle worker is the real brains." And it, it, metaphorically, she had, you know, the hand up the the ass of Helen Keller and was just puppet her. What a shock they shared, although with their same political views. So, and he also said, which I never verified was true or not. Kids that are born uh, mute, deaf, and blind are destined to be monsters, right? Des they just know because nothing, nothing, no one's ever cracked. And he claimed, I think no one ever cracked that code since. I don't think that's true, but if it is, if that's true, and Helen Keller is the only person on earth to have been sort of fixed from this horrible proof that God doesn't exist, making a child deaf, blind, and um, uh, uh, mute, then this, the Helen Keller story is bullshit. It's... Utter I mean, God's bullshit. obviously real. He made her rich. What else does yeah. she need? Yeah. But so I started thinking about it. You know, like, maybe Helen Keller is fucking horse shit. Maybe she was just, 
Dah. And I said, well, why not fucking Stephen Hawking? So who the fuck knows? Do you ever listen to one of Stephen Hawking's classes? It's... <laughs> How the fuck do you know what he's saying? Much less talking about quantum physics. Oh, I know what he was saying. He had that voice box. Oh, the voice box. Hi, I'm Stephen Hawking. I am here to teach the class. Anybody could have accessed that thing remotely and taught the fucking class. Like, I don't know, somebody who w wasn't retarded. You know, that, that's what I'm thinking. So I thought that was a pretty good fucking... <laughs> I, I, Can you I imagine thought... this whole time, someone was, someone's just like at home remotely controlling him and just pasting <laughs> text from a, like just copy, just copy and pasting text from a textbook and just pasting it and just like scripting it, just reading off. Yeah. You know, I remember Steven, somebody did a rap, this is before the days of big social media, somebody did a website and it was like Stephen Hawking rapping. Hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, All right. Stephen Hawking, apparently, I forget what website it was called back in the early, late 90s, actually commented on it and said it was really, really funny and he loved it, right? Like, and I, I remember thinking, that, wow, he's he's got a fucking good sense of humor. Wouldn't it be funny if the guy who was controlling Stephen Hawking through that voice thing said, hey, let's play, let, let, let's have Stephen fucking comment on this atrocity right here, goofing on him and saying he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love being having it pointed out that I can't have normal relations with a woman. I works, love it. I love it that well. I can't walk or poop, pee, eat on my own. I love the fact that I can't walk and I have to use a remote control to get everywhere. It's great. And I'm so glad you're making fun of me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I think Ricky is another one of those good examples where he, uh, remember, uh, it was a stream recently where we were talking about, like, you know, uploading, uploading your, your existence to the, to the mega doc and being online <laughs> yeah, and, like, right. you're existing forever. And it's like, you have these people who are like, like, can barely, like, they can't move. Like, it's not their fault, but they're, they're like, they, I wouldn't change a thing. It's like, okay, really? You really wouldn't change? A, if you could change you anything, like, you wouldn't? You, you're yeah. totally nothing. Nothing no. on your mind. No. The first thing Ricky said, oh, I'd be fucking walking. In the yeah, outside. exactly. It's the me. first fucking thing he thought of. What a shock. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Hawking wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'll tell you what first. Here's what I would do. I would be able to walk, fuck, and you can take my smart brain and stick it up your ass. I'll be dumb as a rock and fuck and walk. Deal? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky is remote, remotely controlled too? <laughs> Dude, this is fucking deep. Holy yeah, shit, this, yeah, that's some like right. fucking... That's uh, Ricky's remotely <laughs> controlled too. Yeah. AI shit. shit. <laughs> Who's the puppet master of all this? I really gotta know. Uh, Wait a minute. It's Tommy. Uh, <laughs> Tommy the puppet master. Tommy the puppet master. Tommy yes, the puppet, the puppet master. master. Nerd City was right. <laughs> makes sense now. <laughs> Nerd City was right. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? Um, did you listen to Vito when he called in on the Ethan stuff? By any chance? Yeah, yeah. I was did, you, did you hear what he said? I mean, I think a lot. I think, I think most, you know what? Maybe it's bullshit. But I think most people aren't as open-minded and willing to take criticism like I am and can handle it as well as I can. I'm talking like not even just people in general. So I noticed him kind of dancing around mainstream funny and internet funny, right? And he kind of settled on that. And he can tell you, because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't want the backflash. There is a difference between Bill Barr, uh, those traditional comedians, Right, and I'm not saying True. YouTube isn't funny. I'm not saying internet isn't funny. Internet style isn't funny. The millennium style, the meme style is not funny. I think it's fucking fantastic. But it is kind of niche, and you kind of got to be in, in the joke. Whereas Bill Barr, and what Vito was probably kind of trained for or wanted to be, is a little more designed to connect with a larger group of Americans and Englishmen. And but see, English I think people. you're, well, I think yeah. you're overcomplicating it. Even yeah. saying internet or, or in, in, in yeah. person or whatever. I think it's literally just the internet is in jokes, inside jokes. And yes, if you're yeah. not on the internet, you're not in the, you're not in the jokes, jokes and, so it doesn't sound funny. And if, if you ever tell inside jokes and nobody knows about it, it's not fucking, it's not funny yeah. at all. There's no, there's nothing funny yes, about it at all. Comedy yeah. in general, you can be funny. Like 
and I, I've yeah. said this multiple times, and I'm, I'm not the first person to say it, I guarantee you, but mm-hmm. you, the key to being funny is just delivery. It doesn't matter what you're saying. Delivery is the only thing that matters. So as mm-hmm. long as you have good delivery, you can make anything funny. Yeah. yeah but the thing true. is, with it, with the internet, it, it's only inside jokes. So if you're if you're if you're going up to one of your coworkers at work, and you're you know you, you play a lot of Overwatch, and you're wearing you're wearing a pink shirt, I'll take it out of your book. You know, you're an Overwatch player. <laughs> and you're like, ah, like, oh, Diva yeah. did the Fortnite dance. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's like, what the fuck? Are you tweeted you're brain this damage? What's couple, wrong with you? I retweeted this meme a couple days ago. And I really I hope it's still on here. Or I hope I did retweet it and just thought I didn't retweet it. And it has like, it, oh, I thank God I got it. Here we go. Low ping. It's funny. I knew a guy named Pin Low. All right. And here it is uh, right here. A boomer humor, Gen X humor, millennial humor, Gen Z humor. And I thought this really captured it. Uh, the traditional political cartoon. Uh, Star Wars, Gen X, my my generation. Uh, millennial humor. I guess millennials are in the 30s and late eight, late 20s now, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, it's been uh, fucking 20, five, yeah. six years since yeah, I heard that, so they must have to be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm studying the stew is silent. Yeah, not funny at all, millennials. And then Gen Z humor. And that's just Dave and he's kind of fucking... <laughs> yeah, 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 like... I, I could look. I've been in this fucking world for four years now. I I understand why why that's funny. Gen Z humor. Um, I totally I, I totally find see why it's funny. But yeah, you're right. And I think this. I'm, I'm basically arguing for you. Um, yeah, I think this kind of proves your point here. And by the way, I'm diverse. I think all these styles are funny, except for the millennials, because I don't get that joke. A B millennials suck. But um, yeah, yeah. it's just it's just mid 20s complaining about getting an education that they you know, claim humor that to be on youtube get, is like you know we're talking about erb ray william johnson uh you know the oh, guys yeah, that are getting to their 30s one, now yeah. yeah where i see i see gen z is like monkey and 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 and, and maybe even pyrocynical or, or something like that you know i'm not saying pyrocynical never made me laugh i mean I'm, it's not, I'm not as big as i don't watch his videos but I much think- anymore I think it's not only the inside joke thing. There's a there's a lot of you know people love to gatekeep no matter what. So it's yes. like if you have something if you have something that's funny and it, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's you know it's more niche. It's your own thing. Yeah. People love that even more because it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. you don't understand you don't, you don't understand why Dave's funny because you're forty. Yeah. Yeah, I you really say that. know I, why Dave I, is uh, funny because yeah. I have layers and layers of, yeah. of inside information yeah. because I'm on the internet. This is an amalgamation of 20 other fucking memes that you have to be aware of to know that Dave is funny. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, it is kind of like and, that. And people, but... people love that. They love, you know, they love being exclusive, well, you know, which is I, why, you know, I've always, cream and all that shit exists. I think everybody's you know, got like, their, like, I, I, I think everybody's got their kind of taste in comedy, but I, I've always been. I'm an eclectic person. I have a lot of different little hobbies and things, and I like diversity. I don't like the same map and fucking CSGO every time. You play 22 years later, still playing Dust. Um, it's just it's just the way I am. Like if you take sort of the offbeat Canadian humor, some of the best comedians I've ever seen, but not I don't think you would like them. Like Kids in the Hall, I don't think Versus you would ever like anything that came out of Kids in the Hall, right? I also like the honeymoon honeymooners, which is basically late 40s or early 50s comedy. Which God, with Jackie Gleason, I like that too. I like Taxi. I like George Carlin. I like I like guys like Mumkey Jones. I like even Pyrocynical makes me laugh from time to time. Um, you know who's fucking funny in the commentary community? Anybody besides Nick? Who's funny? Uh, well, back. Willie Willie's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's really funny. Willie yeah. has an older style though, doesn't he? I feel yeah. like he sounds like when I listen to Willie, he sounds like somebody. He sounds like Bill Barr a little, a little bit coming on to O and A around nineteen ninety nine. And I don't think you know? I don't think you'd classify him as commentary, but I think it's yeah. refreshing when PewDiePie talks about something. You know, you probably don't watch him very much, but Not when anymore, he normally no. talks about like topics or something like that, he'll kind of break the barrier of like this is fucking stupid. And like there was, you know, it's, he's not yeah. making it try to seem like how important it is yeah. and how oh my god why we got him. It's like just. Is it is what it is. Like at the end of the day, it's just it's just. Uh, Wang is close. I don't even laugh at it because it's stupid. I, I think Wang's close to my age. I, he might even be forty. I, 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 I don't know think Wang's that old. Uh, yeah, yeah. So all the Wang, stuff, all this stuff he mentions as a teenager and stuff. Some I think he's only a four to five years younger than uh, younger than me. I no. He's, he's what if of, like Wang? Even is, though like I could call him right now, he's kind of an elusive person in real life. Yeah. Um, 
Let's see if they got a no, no. He's well, I think he's late thirties, guaranteed. No, not Suzanne <laughs> Wang. <laughs> I didn't say that. Justin Wang. Oh, does he's not a famous uh, that motherfucker? See, he doesn't want people to know how old he was. See, that's the thing. I knew that was. Wait, a, hold on, hold on. Click on the tweet. Uh, third link down. Third, third link down. Yep. I was six. Oh, you that kind of guess six. No, all right, that slip not. That's two thousand. That's twenty years ago. He's twenty. Oh, he's thirty six then. That's oh, that's two years ago. Sixteen. Oh, yeah. So he's thirty seven, thirty eight. He's about where I thought the youngest I thought he would be. Is the oldest forty? Probably he lays. He's thirty eight. Pity I could use your kind of. And and by the way, he is. Uh, is Justin funny or? Like I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'd I love his videos, his... but I don't go, boy, Justin made me piss my pants, you know. I but I love his videos. I don't watch his content, but I do follow him on Twitter, and the shit he retweets and the oh, shit he God, says and all that so makes funny. me laugh. Yeah. That's so funny. He, I think he does his videos more. His, I'm not saying he's never made me laugh his videos, but I don't. I go to Monkey to laugh out loud. Like, fuck. That guy's fucking funny. Like, I piss my pants laughing. Uh, Justin doesn't make me laugh like that, but he 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 will have a um. Wow, look how fucked up I look in this video. Because I was so worried, I was so terrified that somebody would accuse me of misinformation. I just woken up, and I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Daddy. Fuck off, Ethan has Tourette's or whatever it is. <laughs> Suck a big oh, old. Oh, uh, watch that, watch that one. Which one? Uh, scroll down. Uh, close the audio. I'll probably get fucking clean. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, no, uh, close the audio, close the audio, close the audio. Why? Oh, it's got music? Because, yeah, 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 you'll get claimed. It's you. Oh, is, is it you, black is man? You? Is that me as a black man? Oh, that's fucking Django. Oh, that's I, fucking I don't Augie, right. never mind. I've seen... Fucking oh, that, that made you. It's Augie? Yeah. Yeah. This black man doesn't have very big lips. <laughs> Your fucking comrade, uh, he yeah, made comrade's Django. been making me as Trump, and I could see that. Um, yeah, open to fuck. Hell yeah, yeah. See, nobody cares. Hey, do you want to? <laughs> um, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I think I, I should do exclusive for the fans. Uh, put a one in the chat if you want to see me in this uh, video game mod for. I think it's Borderlands. You guys will laugh. I, I play a Russian bartender. <laughs> I did the best I could, okay? You ready? You want to see it? You want to see the part I have? Oh, I do remember you mentioning that. What, like, it was so... Out of all the people you could have you could have thought of when you thought of a Russian accent, why would it be an American living in Germany? Like, I don't understand. No, don't it's, it takes... Oh, no, it's because it's Fallout. And uh, I'm, I'm playing somebody in the Fallout world. All right. So it's like a Russian that happened to be over in, in the states. Digitally, has been. Wait, 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 who sent me this shit? I always fucking forget. Raw. I have to go through these. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I think I got it. Out. All right, you guys are gonna get to see this shit. So I'm gonna show it to you. You know, this is the special stuff you get when you're. Um, I try to make make these shows work. Okay, Tommy sees SFTP as uh, Vladim uh, Bobrov. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, this guy's making a mod, and he's using the assets for things. Lots of people do. It's it, what they call this machinima, right? It's not a real big market yeah. for this anymore, is there? No, it's dead. Yeah, it's completely dead. But some people do do it. It's one of the first things I have. And, and people ask me, like, will you do voiceovers? And I'm like, you know, I really don't care what it's about, but I want to try it and get better at it. You know, it's weird. But this is fucking sucks because it's, it's – you know, it's like – if you were playing this game just by fucking chance, and you're like, "That's Tommy C doing a Russian accent," <laughs> it's just... yeah. Here we go. See, here I'm, we go. I'm, no, no, stop. I'm gonna close my eyes and envision myself like I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. Right. Oh, you're try, right. Try, tell try, tell, tell me. Try to tell me, tell me when to start this. And by the way, I'm not knocking this guy's project or anything. I just don't think. No, I no, did. we're not I, knocking the project at all. I, we're knocking your I did accent. The, I did the. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is from Fallout Four. I guess the engine he's using. All right. One minute, Yefim. I am in middle of story. So I cross the river, right? Wearing nothing but smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea masters, a Mirelock. I guess he hasn't got the guy to do the other voice yet. Maybe he's Helen. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
He's going. To, yeah, they're having the kind of, I guess I got. I don't know why I didn't read all this other fucking dialogue. I would have run. I would have read it. He was. That's me. I guess. Wow, you're killing it, right? You're you killing this bottom. I oh, give him that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no, I get. I, uh, this is probably the best. For. This is probably the best. You line see this bottom? I kill a man for it. <laughs> no, I get. I get. He is dead. So now let me know when you're ready to order. I, I, yeah, I didn't think that was that bad. Damn straight, my brother Yefim and I make best moonshine. In, in <laughs> Whoa, we were summer. one step away from dropping it. <laughs> we <laughs> call it Bobrov's best. He had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> there you go. I'm kind of dying. In the audience. Standing ovation. Yes. I thought the one, the last two lines I read weren't that bad. Oscar worthy. Fucking Oscar worthy. Nico Bellic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like y you have been called Russian in the past because the amount of fucking drag suits you used to wear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. call you a Slav, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I, no, that's cool so, because. All the Irish uh, guys think, think that's why I know what he kicked the shit out of me. They didn't know if I was affiliated or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Turks don't kick the shit out. Hey, we kicked the shit out of Slavish guy. Yeah, you they have, have fucking... a lot of colors for gang signs, but a black Adidas tracksuit can mean many things. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's because while the Slavs act like that, if you kill one of the Slavs, what they'll do is they'll come to your house, they'll kill you, and just leave Germany. And they'll yeah, never they're like catch rats. You. Yeah, yeah, you attack mm -hmm. one, the horde comes. Yeah, the horde yeah. comes after you, and, the, and even the Turks know well enough to leave alone. You know, Turks aren't that bad. It's they're actually pretty easygoing people for the most part. Uh, but the younger ones, like it, it's it's like I was a big douchebag, right? Uh, in you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, and pretty much to 24. 24 is when I kind of grew up just a little bit. I, imagine like American douchebag on fucking steroids times ten, but slightly effeminate. That's what fucking Turkish guys are like, you know, so slightly good. effeminate, you know, like with the way they dress, but you know, they might you know, pick up a fucking pipe and beat your head into it with it. You know, I bro my, my barber's Turkish. He's pretty good. I, I know. I don't have a problem with the adults. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and I rarely have a problem with the kid. The kids don't bother me. Uh, I, if I do have a problem, it's between the ages of 16 and 23, yeah, 24. See, wait, yeah, 16 and 23 or 24. And by the way, don't really have much problem with them either. But uh, if I'm seeing a group of Turkish guys walking out and they're they're looking and, and you know, I, 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 I don't give a fuck if somebody calls me a racist. I try to protect my neck, you know, and I don't really give a rat's ass. But no, like, um, yeah, it, Turkish families own all their, ask fucking, what's his name? Tobes, he was over here. He was friendly with all of them. Yeah. You know, just trying to make a buck like everybody else. I would even say they're nicer than all the Indians in, on the 7-Elevens back in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. I I, I, I know like a lot of like Turk, uh, Turkish people and, and Indians compared to that. They are nicer. Uh, Indians, the Indians aren't as nice. The Turkish are pretty nice. They're like, nice too. I'll Indians, go in. I'll, really I'll, nice go too. in I'll go in a place. I'll, I'll go, how's Tommy? Uh, what's going on? You guys have a good vacation? Where it's, yeah, that, that kind of old school thing they'll yeah, say it and if they speak english that's, that's if they speak yeah. english they'll do it in english but they're always going to do it in german every time so i like the family and we we don't really we try not to go like mainstream um mm. uh like germany all the time uh like 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 for, like i don't know when i was back home i never went to the mom and pop stores there's a lot more mom and pop stores here and it's a little more convenient but we try to give our money to mom and pops and most of them are arabs you know especially and if they're if you're cool to us we'll always come back you know, we'll always come back. That's the way we do it. Best yeah. moonshine in the whole world. I call it Mountain Bex. Yeah, back I'm, to I'm that. So I think that's really, that's actually really fun. Voice acting is one of those things where it's like, it sounds really fun to do. Yeah. But it's just kind of hard to get into unless you die. You really have to spend some time. Yeah. Because unless they find you like that, which is very Oh, well, rare this guy's just doing a popular. small project that I'm helping Yeah, yeah, out yeah. With. Right, right, right. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things you really have to look into, know where to look to I begin with to really get into it. But it's think, super, it's, it sounds super fun. Like, it'd be super fun to do. I didn't think that you really have to develop a personality with your voice unless you're ridiculously famous. And I'll, I'll tell you, like, um, Picard. What the fuck? The actor plays Picard. Um, Jonathan Stewart. Okay. All right. 
he can voice act in anything. It doesn't matter, right? Because he has a pre presence, that voice. Any kind of recommend, even like Brad Pitt, people will recognize these big Hollywood celebrities' voice. If you take somebody like the best example, in recent example anyway, I'm sure there's been a, of, of great voice acting uh, that really projects a, a personality under characters that don't even have necessarily a backstory in all cases, maybe even light backstories, you know, um, is of course Apex Legends. Those guys, they do tons of voices. They work at it. They give each other like certain personality. And I noticed that by following, I can't, that was it the Razor's Edge, the guy who does um, probably the best, the most interesting guy anyway, uh, some of his character is Mirage. And going to his site and seeing what he's put into this over the last 10 years, the guy's had a YouTube site after the last 10 years, and he's actually a legit um, gamer. But it, it's he doesn't have the luxury. He's not Patrick Stewart, right? He's not Ryan Reynolds. But he's got to project the vibe that Ryan Reynolds does in Deadpool correctly, but yet sound different enough. And that's that's a real acting talent. That's such it, it, and and you know, I was watching him, and then I recorded the voice thing, and I remember thinking, Howard Stern's wrong. Voice acting is very very fucking difficult. It's very very deep. The only way you can fucking just wing it and read is if you're born with a very famous voice. Uh, and I'm not talking like clown. Like, you have to be famous for something else, and then everybody recognizes your voice. Then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, so, like, also like uh, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Hamill, fucking Joker. Oh, yeah. He was amazing. Yeah, but he he, here's fucking. the thing, too. I, I, I guarantee he put a lot of thought into that and really fucking yeah. crafted that because he's not a bad actor to begin with. And let's say he is, and I'm wrong. He is well trained actor. He went to all the right schools. I mean, he, yeah, he, this is good. his per, you know profession. He's made a tremendous living in this space and went on long after he long, you know managed to stay in Hollywood. Maybe not as a you know, leading man, but uh, managed to survive in that environment long after his fame and looks faded. You know, and he actually yeah. he didn't look too damn bad in the last. They really blew that. I'll never forgive them for that, what they did to him. That was fucking horrible. That's what people say to me. Oh, Mark Hamill said this about Trump or Mark, Mark Hamill's this. And he's a, he's got TDS. And I just like, you know, let him fucking go. The what they did to him. I mean, he could worship the devil or fucking become a Nazi. And I probably let it slide. Uh, it's just, 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 just a fucking shameful, shameful joke. What they did to him and that, and that character. Practically, I used to have. I I said, I said, I used to have arguments when I was a kid. You know, like we used to have. Who's gonna win, Luke Skywalker or Superman? Well, Superman could do anything, so I, nah. But he could fucking take those limbs off with that lightsaber, and he could see it coming too. And but <laughs> we have fucking serious debate. I saw, a, <laughs> I saw a kid pick up a Tonka trunk and hit another kid over the head over that debate when I was about eight years old. And I remember thinking, uh, I better get the fuck out of here. Somebody says I didn't do that shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I forgive Mark Hamill and everything. You know, and I, and I do. And I'd say this, not just the members. I think they did it to him because he's white. And I think that's cruel. And I, would, I, think, I, th I think if you were going to ruin a, you know, let's say you had a really tough, you know, African American character, and you made him kind of feminine. Like thirty years later, I'd be against. I'll tell you what, I'm fucking against. Look what they did to Billy D. Williams. Williams. I'm, I'm watching. I'm reading all this press for the goddamn. You can call me she or he. I don't care. You know, you can call me they or them. I don't care. I'm, you're Billy D. Fucking Williams. You literally reek sex and sexuality. Don't fucking tell me I can call you she. Fuck that shit. They put you up to it. You just, you would have, you're 80 some odd god years old. You didn't think they'd call you back for the final movie. And you were so goddamn good. And then you're back with all these Hollywood freaks and you're like, call me she. I'm Billy D. Williams. Man, fuck that. I will not buy into that. I will never. Billy D. Williams is a man's man, traditional man. I'm not saying it's not okay to be gay or trans. I'm just saying, you don't change Billy D. Guy was like, he was even like the best looking man in America in 1980. They take that fucking away from me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Billy D. Williams is a bad motherfucker. He always will be. And he'll not only that, he's not, he doesn't have to be like Sam Jackson and curse and say motherfuckers 15 times. He can do it 
with class. And I will never allow them to take that. And I, I saw him. I saw him in these interviews. He's very weak. He's in his 80s. And what they did to him is bullshit. I don't believe for a minute that 70s, 80s, or 90s Billy D. Williams would be like, yeah, you can call me she. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Billy D. Williams tried to suck the black out of him. That's what you're doing. You're sucking the black out of him. And I resent it as a white man. There you go. See, this is the part in the Catch-22. We would edit that out. That was, that was the... <laughs> I'm probably going to post this one. I'm posting this one. This old rant I, yeah. that I can't relate to or know what you're talking about at all, and I have no commentary on it. So whatsoever. when I say that they went after Mark Hamill because he's white, all right, and they're trying to, you know, get rid of white heroes, all right, don't think that I don't think it could be reversed and put another way or feminize a, a, a somebody who's historically seen as now they didn't do it in in Star Wars they did it through press corps in this particular case uh, 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 somebody who exemplifies uh, really black men sort of like the height the the, the playboy level of of African American sexual male sexuality and they did they did that to him and it's fucking sad it's fucking sad because Billy D Wees that guy got more snatched than six guys would in a lifetime. It's ridiculous. Very sad. Very big. And it, and it hurts me. It hurts me. Now. I have no idea what's happening. I don't care. Because there's a giant black. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda knows. <laughs> Diva knows what I'm talking about. Uh, call everybody. Call the core forty-five. Yeah, leaping lizard. Nobody even see. Amanda knows if she's in the black community, and fucking leaping lizard knows because he's old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's old as fuck. Yeah, you know, look, I didn't mind Billy. From what I understand, he can can't stand anymore. He did soften his character a little bit in the movie, but I don't think that was to feminize him as much as it was. He's very frail, and they want him in the movie. I don't know why the fuck he wasn't in all three movies. I do not understand that. I don't understand why they killed Han Solo or Luke Skywalker. And if I did understand that, I don't know why they did it the way they did. I don't know why. Maybe the all right. Maybe I do know why, but I don't know why they thought it would work. Maybe they killed off Han Solo just because fucking Harrison Ford says I'm not going back there and doing one of those fucking nerd movies. All right, maybe all right. So you got to get rid of Han, but now you got to get a, now, now Luke's he's the only one there to hold it up. Well, let's turn him to a deadbeat too, because he is kind of a deadbeat. He's an emotional deadbeat. He's a friend deadbeat. He's a fucking. Yeah. Deadbeat as a brother. Luke Skywalker. Your sister's in trouble. She's 70 fucking years old. 60 years old. She's trying to hold this rebellion together. And I'll, no, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to milk shit. Because I'm a piece of shit. Bullshit. No. You didn't do that to Mark Hamill. Fuck you. So I don't care. Mark Hamill is one of those rotten shit on the planet. I'll probably forgive him because I love him. Period. Anyway, I just I just remembered the other portions of it. I knew there was more details to it. I just was blanking out on it. Uh, there would also be a members chat for the Discord that would probably delete after the day's over, like a live chat. So you could still type like you're doing now, but it would be lagless. And then also we would do probably members notifications within that for Discord so you would know when we're live or quote-unquote live. Yeah. Uh, but, if but, some people yeah, are coming right. in late, what uh, Verse is talking about is um, a possible stream within Discord that's like lagless and more interaction. We're going to come up with a name for yeah, it. Yeah, so, so basically, instead of using a live chat like you're using now, we'd have a separate Discord room that would be only access to members. We'd use that to notify you all that we're going live. We would all join a voice chat room together. You guys would be muted automatically, so no no worries there. Uh, we would unmute people if they want to take calls. Like you'd probably add us in there saying you want you have a call or whatever and unmute you. But you yeah. basically you'd be able to watch the stream like me and Vault are doing now. You'd have a basically a lagless streaming experience and you'd a lagless talking experience. So we'd be pretty able right. to interact with you guys as as easy pretty as much. possible. I think that's a, a pretty he, good idea. We, we could do other things like watch stuff like he was saying and other things like that. There's a yeah. lot of things we could do with it. Yeah, it's just, it's it, just it, you know what it really is it, for, for me. It's time. I, I have to fill the time and I have to start planning a week or two ahead and then going through with it. <laughs> The problem is my visitation with my daughter that interferes with, although she hasn't been around much because everything that's going on. Uh, the, the, so I have to iron out visitation. And she's, you know, she's almost a teenager now. She pretty much comes when she wants. And I can't say no 
because my wife will run to the court and say, I don't care about your daughter. And I can't say, hey, could you give me a schedule? Because she's a fucking kid and she's never going to listen to it. And no one will ever, and, and mom's never going to hold her to that either. So that's nothing I can do about it. So, so that, that's the thing. But I might have to schedule ahead of time, yeah. And by the way, we are looking for a new place and, and stuff like that. And that's it. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you joined the members only stream. And, uh, and I'll probably re-upload it Wednesday uh, at the, uh, maybe a little later. Uh, different time. Uh, I'll, I'll probably upload it Wednesday. Uh, if you didn't see it, if for some reason you missed it, uh, you'll probably see it on. Well, what the fuck am I talking about? You're not, you're not going to see shit on Patreon and what have you. I would ask kindly that you don't share this. I would appreciate that uh, for the people that have earned it. And then, uh, you know. Or do and just don't tell us. Yeah. Have fun. Do you not just you. set the streams to members only? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't work. Mine, mine doesn't do that. I only have three options. Hi. See you in a little bit. Stop the point tonight. Mighty infinite, independent excellence. Devil fighting, rebel titan, we smoking alchemists. Fake identities, okay, you cool with Jason Bourne. Running with these Wolverines, okay, you about to catch a storm. I ain't never been a liar, got tired of niggas playing me. Head in my legs, like she about to catch a pedigree. Shy town, the king's home, slapping fives, black stones. Six mile to danger zones, pulling super like waffle cone. Folk affiliated to evolution of man. Don't make me leave the meager so you Thirty like minutes. Shit, Kelly. They feel my struggle. Thirty minutes, I right? It my yeah. I'm about to make your heart to breathe. Minutes. Here's a head. Catch twenty-two coming at you live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right.